Hey Casey, can you pass me that sunscreen from my bag? You don't need sunscreen. I read on the internet that it can cause skin cancer. Hmm, I wonder if this is actually true. I'm going to investigate. Hi Charlie, what brings you into the clinic today? All my life I've sold to wear sunscreen, but recently I heard that it can give me cancer, and I just wanted to get more information. Does sunscreen actually cause skin cancer? Okay Charlie, let's not get ahead of ourselves and allow our imaginations to run wild. Let's start off with the basics and go from there. There are three common types of skin cancer. The first is basal cell carcinoma, a cancer that grows within the basal layer of the epidermis. What's the epidermis? Well, the epidermis is the top layer of the skin and is composed of many layers of cells. Basal cells can be found on the innermost layer of the epidermis. The second type of skin cancer is squamous cell carcinoma, resulting from cancer of the squamous cells, which are located above the basal cell layer. The third type of skin cancer is cutaneous malignant melanoma, which arises due to cancer of the melanocytes, the bottommost layer of the epidermis. So what exactly causes skin cancer? Skin cancer is caused by a carcinogen, which is a substance capable of causing cancer in living tissue. In this case, the carcinogen that we're concerned with is called radiation. Solar radiation is divided into three different wavelengths, ultraviolet or UV, visible and infrared. Specifically, exposure to UV radiation is what causes skin cancer by damaging the DNA in our cells. UV radiation includes the wavelengths between 200 to 400 nanometers and can be further broken down into three subtypes. UVA, which ranges from 320 to 400 nanometers, UVB, which ranges from 280 to 320 nanometers, and UVC, that ranges from 200 to 280 nanometers. But it should be noted that not all types of UV radiation are harmful. UVC radiation is not a concern because it is blocked by the ozone layer from reaching the Earth's surface. However, UVA and UVB can cause damage to our skin. UVB is harmful as its wavelengths are absorbed into the skin and can lead to cancer formation. UVA is a weaker carcinogen than UVB and has been shown to predominantly cause aging and wrinkling of the skin and, on occasion, cancer. So how does UV radiation lead to skin cancer? UV radiation penetrates the skin and over time, the continuous exposure to the sun can damage the DNA in our skin cells. DNA contains our genetic information and it's responsible for the healthy functioning and replication of cells. Over time, the accumulated damage to the DNA can cause cells to replicate uncontrollably. This out of control replication can result in skin cancer. This occurs because the damaged DNA leads to mutations that causes the formation of dimers. UV light is absorbed by a bond in thymine and cytosine bases in DNA, which causes the bond to break open, making it unstable and more likely to react with a neighboring base. When it reacts and forms a bond with a neighboring base, it is referred to as a dimer. The formation of dimers is the main cause of UV-induced damage in the P53 gene a gene that is found to be mutated in the majority of human cancers. This gene functions as a tumor suppressor and codes for a protein that regulates the cell cycle, protecting the cell from damage. Exposure to solar UV radiation mutates the gene, making the individual more susceptible to skin cancer. So, if UV radiation causes cancer, then how does sunscreen help? Sunscreen protects against UV damage in two ways by physically blocking the UV radiation and through chemicals that absorb it. The chemical blockers are organic compounds that work by absorbing the energy of UV radiation before it damages the skin. However, the physical blockers are inorganic compounds that work by reflecting the UV radiation away from the skin. This combination of absorption and reflection can offer efficient protection from harmful radiation, decrease the risk of getting skin cancer, and can even reduce signs of aging on the skin. Sunscreen sounds pretty great, but is there any evidence suggesting that it can cause cancer? Currently, there is no direct evidence of sunscreen causing cancer. In a review conducted by Dennis and colleagues, they looked at long-term sunscreen use and concluded that using sunscreen does not increase the risk of skin cancer. 
Another study by Green et al. followed daily sunscreen users and non-sunscreen users for 14 years and found that those who use sunscreen daily had a decreased risk of melanoma. In fact, Charlie, sunscreen use decreases the risk of skin cancer. Ulrich and colleagues researched whether long-term use of sunscreen prevents the risk of basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma due to UV radiation. It was concluded that sunscreen reduced the risk of both basal and squamous cell carcinoma. These findings have been replicated in many other studies as well. The idea that sunscreen causes cancer first started when many manufacturers of holistic and all-natural sunscreens made this claim and began advertising their sunscreen products as non-carcinogenic. But overall, the risk of not wearing sunscreen far outweighs any risk of using it. Thanks for clearing that up.